वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट सिक्स वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फीचर्स ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट सिक्स माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट फाइव वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड यू शुड नो इंटेल हैव अपग्रेडेड इट्स माइक्रो प्रोसेसर फ्रॉम एट जीरो एट फाइव टू एट जीरो एट सिक्स राइट सो हियर what i'll be doing is i'll be explaining you features of microprocessor 8086 with respect to 8085 so that you can understand how advancement and upgradation that has been done by intel in upgrading their processor from 8085 to 8086 so let us see all those features step by step so my dear students when we talk about 8086 features then first of all you should know that 8086 is having 16 bits of alu older version of 8085 was having 8 bits of alu so you can say operating speed of 8086 that will increase right now you should know how it will increase see for example as if you want to do 16 bits of addition in 8085 then you must know my dear students i have already explained you will have to execute many instruction to perform 16 bits of operation but with 8086 we can directly perform 16 bits of operation using single instruction right so obviously you can say operating speed will increase when we talk about 8086 in that case you will be observing it is having 16 bits of data bus so whenever you want to transfer data at that time it will take only one machine cycle to transfer 16 bits or you can say 2 bytes while with older version 8085 it was having 8 bits of data bus so with one machine cycle we were been transferring one byte of data but with 8086 due to we have 16 bits of data bus we can transfer 2 bytes in one machine cycle now my dear students let us talk about how many address lines are there with 8086 so you should know it is having 20 bits of address bus so here a0 to a19 total 20 address bus are there with 8086 so based on 20 bits of address bus you can interface total memory that is 2 to the power of 20 means it will be 1 mb while with older version 8085 was having 16 bits of address bus so 8085 can have total memory interface that was 2 to the power 16 that is 64 kb so now you can say with 8086 we can interface 1 mb compared to 64 kb of 8085 my dear students with 8086 its internal hardware is having two major units one is bus interface unit and second is execution unit and because of this two units 8086 is having very efficient feature that is pipelining so that was not there with 8085 what is pipelining in pipelining we can execute multiple instruction at a time while with 8085 at a time we were been executing one instruction only but with 8086 now we can execute multiple instruction at a time right so you can say here also we are providing significant increase in speed by having this feature compared to 8085 now my dear students let us talk about how many general purpose resistors are there with 8086 so with 8086 we have 16 bits of general purpose resistors like ax bx cx and dx and we can use it in 8 bits mode also so you can use ax as per ah al bx as per bh bl cx h per ch cl and dx as per dh and dl right so you can use that as 16 bits as well as you can use that, that as 8 bits right here we have two index resistors si and di so that is to identify string operation also and here we have two 16 bits of stack pointer sp and bp so if you observe 8085 general purpose resistor 
then in that we were been having b c d e h l right but here you will be having few more resistors compared to 8085 so you can have easier programming compared to 8085 here my dear students 8086 supports memory segmentation so the complete memory that is of 1 mb which is there with 8086 that can be segmented into four different segments code segment data segment extra segment and stack segment right while that feature was not available with 8085 so here with each of that segment we can have 64 kb of memory that we can interface right so memory segmentation that is very essential feature in detail we will see that with separate video here you should know my dear students in terms of feature this memory segmentation is available previously it was not available with 8085 now my dear students as if we talk about flag resistor then you should know with 8085 we were been having 8 bits of flag resistor bit but with 8086 now we have 16 bits of flag resistor right and there are few more flag that we have additionally added with 8086 in which we have status flag as well as control flag control flags were not there with 8085 that is added with 8086 now when we talk about hardware mode then that is operating as per maximum mode and minimum mode that feature was not available with 8085 with 8086 in maximum mode we can operate 8086 with multiple processor right and in minimum mode single 8086 will function so this feature is available where we can have execution of multiple microprocessor together right so even this feature was not there with 8085 now my dear students when we talk about 8086 then in that we have memory banks and here we will be bisecting that 1 MB of memory into two banks of 512 KB and to have this bisection of memory into two half there are some reasons for that you should see my separate video based on memory bank here I can say that 1 MB is bisected into two halves 512 KB and another 512 KB 1512 KB will hold even addresses and another 512 KB memory that will holds odd addresses right and when we talk about instruction set then that have upgraded by huge amount the reason is my dear students with 8086 we have many instructions which were not available with 8085 simply I can give you few examples like multiplication division string operation code conversion with ASCII so that is how there are many instructions which is available with 8086 that was not there with 8085 and you can say almost all instructions which was there with 8085 that is available with 8086 and interrupt service is also upgraded here with 8086 we have 256 well defined vector interrupt right while with 8085 we were been having 8 RST vectored interrupt execution but here with 8086 we have 256 interrupt and that will increase interrupt handling capacity of 8086 as well so this is all about features of 8086 compared to 8085 and my dear students each of these points that I'll be explaining you with respect to separate videos so that you can understand each and every feature that I have explained it right now right and still if you have any confusion what I want is you should see my entire playlist so that you will be having exact understanding regarding how this processor is functioning thank you so much for watching this video